now I want to take a good look. Nice job on your butthole. Goddamn, girl, I want to get up in that. I want to take a little sniff. Uh, it smells like poopy. Okay, hold on one second here. I had the lights dimmed, so let me turn the main light back on here. That was a uh, special request by Dallas Foster. You may remember Dallas as being one of the goats of the YouTube uh, baseball card scene. Dallas was... Uh, him and Austin were moderating for Jab's family back when most of you were in diapers. And uh, I'm going to grab my pen here and make a little note. Uh, going forward, any request by Dallas must be pre-screened extensively. Let me highlight extensively there. Uh, okay. Um, I am financially and contractually obligated to play any requests people make. So anyway, this is going to be my um, another pickups video, but then I'm going to show you the highlights of the collection that I got. Uh, let's do the pickups real quick. It's not a whole lot. So as I got this box quick, I got this in like three or four days. So this is actually series one. So I look forward to breaking these boxes. Excuse me, soon. I don't think I'm going to do it this week. Not, I know you're not sitting there in the edge of your seat wondering when I'm going to break 1992 Donruss. But uh, I want to do a couple more videos while I'm off and break some other cards. Some football new stuff, some baseball new stuff. But we'll, we'll save these going forward. I'm going to start doing more older stuff. And you should see the size of this box these came in. I ordered 25 boxes. These are 800 count storage boxes. And the box, I got it here, but I'm not going to screen, o screen over. It was sent to the wife's parents' house. He, uh, the wife's parents, he, he used to, he kind of still does. He owns a radiator business. They thought it was a radiator. That's how big the box is. Uh, the box is massive. I don't know why they sent this, but it's a lot here. I got 25 of the 800 count boxes for 35 bucks. Uh, sometimes they're $5 a piece if you buy them like at the LCS individually. But as you saw, the first card I showed you, one of my favorite cards of all time. I got it again from the collection. Think about it, Crack Kills by Warren Moon. Can we go a little bit more in? Oh, the other way. Okay. Okay, a little too much. Okay, there we go. So anyway, uh, overall, the baseball part of the collection, I loved it. Uh, if I split it in price in half, uh, 20 to 25 bucks, we had to pay tax on it. The baseball was awesome, well worth it. The football, uh, I don't know. If I would have passed on the football, it would have been okay gonna get close to making two sets out of the football but 86 or is it 87 or an 88 but no I think 86 and 87 tops football and then um, I thought there was a lot of 85 but there wasn't there was only like two stacks of junk of uh, commons in it so I think I would have passed on the football had I do it had to do it all again although no make that three sets because I came close to completing another set that I had started before upper deck but anywho, so let's get this going. Uh, I'm going to start off with the football. So, like I said, uh, with the baseball, I got a lot of good stuff, a lot of sets that I needed stuff for. When I say good stuff, eh, okay, let me take that back. Let me take that back. This is football. Holy shit. So, this is the football stuff. This is only about one-fourth of the cards that I'm, I, I'm saving. Um, and I just render. It's all low-end stuff that I just... Don't, don't necessarily collect, but I hold on to. Like Eric Dickerson. There's a Jerry Rice Joe Montana card. Here's a Drew Bledsoe die cut. There's Eric Dickerson. Jerry Rice. Hold on now. Let's see. It's a little too big. There we go. Jerry Rice. Can you see that now? God damn it. More Eric Dickerson. More of those. There's uh, Marcus Allen. There's more Dickerson there. So, um, what do we have here? That's a Barry Sanders card. Uh, Barry Sanders, Derek Thomas. That is a Dion, a ton of Dion Sanders cards. 
There's a Dion, some Joe Namath, Heroes of Football. These are just these cards. There's a Joe Namath card. Some of these football, more deals, Barry Sanders. This is a nice Marino right here. I don't know if I have this one. It's got, some, it's got like some dirt smudge on it, but that could be easily just wiped down real quick. But like the corners and the centering, this is something that I would consider sending in and getting graded like with one, with one of the junk wax graders for my personal PC. So Marino there, there's a Jerry Rice. Once again, this is about the extent of it. It was a set builders special was what I just bought. There's a Dan Marino record breaker. Montana, Montana Sanders. There's an Emmett Smith. There's a couple Emmett Smiths in here. There's a Dion. Uh, there's a nice big stack of upper deck SP football. There's Dion. There's Zach Thomas for my Dolphin PC. Get to the bottom here. And they had, these aren't like any hits in here, but this is the upper deck Black Diamond. These are really nice cards if you haven't seen these in person. Uh, there's a Tory Holt. I don't know if that's a rookie or not. Uh, and then some coaches. There's Papa, Papa Shula, Emmett Smith. Um, what do we have here? LT Lawrence Taylor. There's technically, theoretically, it is a Brett Favre rookie card. Because this is, I already have his rookies from this set. But he had, he was on three different cards in that set, I believe. And this is one of them, the team. Um, or the, it's like the rookie checklist. So theoretically, it's one of Brett Favre's, can you see this? One of Brett Favre's rookie cards. So just going through, there's an Elway. These art cards, there's another Marino art card. I forgot about that one. Uh, a little off-centered. Deion Sanders, prime time. Very terrible picture, this is Barry. There's a Dan Marino. So there's a, D I know this card isn't valuable, but I was just talking about sending that Marino off for like junk wax. This looks pretty well centered and the corners are perfect in it. And it is a Deion Sanders rookie card. I'd send this away and pay a couple bucks to get that graded. Uh, for like a personal collection. And then here was just an old 1979 Vikings team leaders cards that was in this. Most of the ones that were in um, these protectors I just tossed. But So that was it for football. Like I said, there is another 150 football cards other than the stuff I needed for my set. Oh, this is damaged. That's pretty damaged. So that was damaged. Don't get pissy with me. Not ruining good cards. Baseball is the same thing. A lot of lower end stuff. Let's start, cut it off in half here. A lot of lower end stuff. Uh, so upper deck, there's um, 3,000 count of the 89 upper deck. So Brett, Boggs, Mike Schmidt, you know, Molitor, Will Clark. There's a Randy Johnson card. Uh, there's a lot of Dawson's. There's a Barry Bonds card. For the most part, these were in good condition. And then, like, Joe Morgan. I hold on to Joe Morgan. I know this isn't, like, an early card of his, but with the Giants. There's a Frank Robinson, Carlton Fisk, uh, Louis Tiant. I'm not really collecting Louis Tiant, but they were there, so I'm just holding on to him. Bruce Suter, Joe Torre. Here's some more of the, the upper deck. Andre Dawson, Mattingly's. There's a Sammy Sosa Tops uh, Finest Warriors card. We have a couple of Don Mattingly. And they're not in great condition. Um, the home, the craft cutouts, so I kept those. Ricky's from the upper deck. There's some Gracie's in there too. Jack Morris. I've never seen these before. Anybody let me know if they've seen these. This is called Piece of, Upper Deck Piece of History. Frank Thomas is... When I saw the name, I was like, oh, is there a relic on it? There's no relic, but there's an upper deck, piece of history, Frank Thomas. There was also a Luis Gonzalez and Delgado in there. We have a Mo Vaughn rookie, unfortunately. There's a Fisk. There's some of these. I don't know if this is actually his rookie or not. Someone can let me know. Um, there's a Sandberg in there. I got to go through these and organize them later. Just for the records, which I didn't have the full set. And then some more... Tell you what, there's a ton of upper deck. There were no Griffey Juniors. They were organized by number 
and they were in perfect organization, and they didn't really leave any rookies left. So here's the rest of the baseball. There was a ton of 1990 score. Look at this stack. This is only part of it. We're just going to go through this Boggs, Gwynn, Ricky, Bo, Puck. I like that red. It's a cool card. So I don't know if they just like, like open up like, like a case of these there. Look at this Boggs. There's some Sandberg Dream Teams. And then we get into some of the World Series card. I'm just being messy with these. Some of the World Series cards. Will Clark, Ricky, Canseco's. Back to these again. Uh, so they had, they looked like someone had opened a box of uh, 1982. Looking for that... Um, 82 tops looking for the Cal Ripken rookie because there's a bunch of these. Um, I left all, I'm going to put the set together. So I left all the ones that I needed in the set and didn't take them out. But there was Pete Roses. There was, uh, there were star cards in there. Here is a John Smoltz member absolute from a long time ago. So I, I left most of the cards still in the possible set. So here's the interesting cards I want to show in a sec here. So here's a Clemens. Here's a Molitor from the 82. So I've never seen these before. So it, it, you see, you can see the break right there. So it looks like his top and then, you know, the lower half of his body. This is a Brad Lidge and you open it up and then it's a full card. There's Jerome Robertson underneath and close it. So that's interesting. The other one has Jeff Kent and it looks supposed to look like his bottom, but then you go up and it's a Barry Bonds card. So that's interesting. That's worth holding on to. Uh, what else do we have here? We have a pretty cool EX Tom Glavin card, like an acetate almost. We have Cliff Floyd. There's some upper deck like minor league cards. So I just threw a couple of those out. Jason Kendall, Aaron Boone, Paul Canerco, underrated, Tory Hunter, Scott Rowland, who could be a Hall of Famer, Billy Wagner, there's a Jason Giambi, there's another Paul Canerco draft class. There's a Johnny Damon. So just some upper deck. I, I held on to some Cliff Floyd rookie cards only because I didn't have them in my rookie card collection before. And Griffey Jr. art card. There's a, uh, here was a baseball, Reggie Jackson. Johnny Damon again, rode to the show. And then some more of those, uh, is that 91 upper deck? So... Like I said, a lot of kind of lower end stuff just to kind of beef up your card collection. Overall, it was solid. Um, I got the most value out of collecting the sets. Here's the hits from it. Let me take a drink here. Ah, ah, Arizona iced tea is good. Very good. So once again, another disappointing video. I'm not opening any cards. But I think for the next couple videos, all I'm going to do is open cards. So we got that Warren Moon. Think about it. Crack kills. So for this, uh, if the cards are damaged, don't keep them. Throw them away. You don't need to keep these in here. And someone folded this one up in half. One of them, unfortunately, was the Aikman. So damaged cards... Serious Quisenberry, Happy Quisenberry. Someone left, they had an Angel's ticket stub in there. Famous chicken compliment, the famous chicken complimentary terrorist comp. Eight bucks. Good luck on getting that for an old Angel's ticket. We have, what is this? This isn't really, they had this in a top holder, a James Baldwin rookie card for unknown reasons. Feels like the pitcher's really bad. We have Brian Taylor, remember, from that first big collection? We've got the Brian Taylor for promotional purposes only. If you get caught using this motherfucker for anything else besides promoting Brian Taylor, the local authorities are going to be contacted. We may even have to go up the, up the ladder to the FBI. Promotional purposes only. God damn it. Okay, we have... Um, 
I've all I've seen his name before, and it was just listed as Wonderful Mons, but his full name is Wonderful Terrific Mons. Let's see if we can get a better. Wonderful Terrific Mons. So the last thing I found, I found this, it's not a card. I found this early on, probably 10 minutes into the first box. And I, I, I found pictures before, like the, so I found this picture. This was in the first box. Can we get a better, I don't know. There we go. So, so I found this picture in the first box. And so there's writing on the back. Let me try to read this. Hey, hey, hey. Let's see if you can read it. Absolutely no reason that I can't think of why you're not the sexy Rexy I fell in love with. But really, you're the best. Here's a picture with some guy, just a friend. High to the rents. So this heartless winch, who probably isn't, had this guy in love with her in high school, sends him a picture of her with another guy at a, at a dance, the fall formal in 2000. Fuck you, I can't believe you'd do that to this guy. I actually think I know, the, there's, a, there's a regular at the card shop that's always in there, I think I know whose cards these were and I know who got his heart broken by her, you bitch. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching my terrible videos. I look forward uh, to uh, screening Dallas's requests more and uh, opening and ripping some cards over the next couple days that I'm off. Thank you very much. Later.